the Macho Burger Podcast. I'm your host, Dylan Nell, and today, as you can see with the blue chair, I only have one guest tonight, and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good friend of mine. Uh, he, he's also a rapper on YouTube and on SoundCloud. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Josh Twig Duncan. Alright, so, as I said, you do uh, SoundCloud and, and YouTube rapping. Yep. Um, let's talk about that. Um, mm-hmm. Your music, uh, uh, what's, what's your latest song? Uh, actually, I released two within 24 hours, and it's one's Well Damn, and the other one, uh, other one is uh, The Remedy. The Remedy. I, I listened to both. I, I really liked The Remedy. The Remedy was yeah. the one I liked the best. Honestly, I, I liked it better, too. Yeah, I liked the beat in it. It was uh, very catchy. I really enjoyed it, so... <laughs> Thank you. Um, do you have a personal uh, favorite song that you have? Uh, like, just for like hype wise, uh, "Wish You Would." That's okay. one of my favorites. Okay. And uh, one that means more to me is probably uh, "Forever." It's an older track on SoundCloud. Okay. Yeah. Uh, have you Have you moved all of them to YouTube, or are you still in the process of that? Or still in the process. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, how many songs do you think you have? Actually, I counted the other day. Um, I went through SoundCloud because it has the most, and uh, I want to say it's like thirty-two. Thirty-two. 33. All right. Yeah. That is the price. Of, that, that's like that's, that's like the amount for like a normal album. Yeah. Oh yeah. Probably a couple albums. Yeah, probably like a good two, three and a half. Yeah. So yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> if you if if you're like Weezer, you you have like almost four albums right there. They only, they only, they only do ten, ten oh, yeah. an album, ten songs an album. That's it. Yep. Mm. <laughs> Like every album Weezer has, all it is is like ten songs, and never goes over ten. <laughs> like just can't do it. I really hope they make it greatest hits because like I want to see them go over ten uh, because they have to. Yeah. <laughs> or, or they just do it in parts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. So uh, with your with your lyrics, uh, mm-hmm. uh, how do you how do you come up with them? It just depends on like what I feel at the moment, honestly. Or if uh, I'm just kind of like, I am sometimes, you know, like in a gray area. I just don't yeah. know. And I just start thinking about stuff and just, well, well, once again, just how I feel. But it's like, there's a lot of times it's like on the spot writing. And yeah. then other times like reminiscent. So it's, you know, yeah. yeah. Now, do you write your music before you hear a beat or do you do it when once you get the beat? Uh, It differs. It's like sometimes, like sometimes I'll just start, you know, acapella and then you know, along comes a beat. Okay. It's perfect with it. And vice versa, you know. Oh, okay. Because, like, cause I, I, know, I know some people will wait for the beat, and some people will do do both, and some people will just, just write. So I just yeah. wasn't sure. Um, do you have any, like, uh, idols or people you looked up to to get into the rap game? Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, especially, like, Yellow Wolf and uh, yeah. Ritz. You know, there's, like, two big ones. Because there are times where, like, I like rapping fast. Yeah. And they're two of the ones that, like, got me into it. And just hyped to see, like... I mean, because rap it started as, like, you know, like, like black culture, essentially. Yeah. And uh, then there's, like, a couple of white dudes that's, like, paying their homage and everything. And it's, like, yeah. they're just killing it. Yeah. I'm, like, you know, I'm kind of trying to be in that same predicament. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> I totally understand there. Uh, back in um, middle school, like, freshman year era, yeah. I had a rap phase. Uh-uh. Like I wasn't all that good, so I just kind of stopped. <laughs> oh no, 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 don't stop, don't stop, man. <laughs> like I haven't, I haven't done anything since freshman year. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, you got to keep with it. Like I just, I was like, yeah, I'm not that great. <laughs> oh, no. Um, but I, I realized uh, comedy was better than than music for me. Mm. Even, even though I do love music, uh, I actually played drums. But oh, I, yeah? That's about it. So. Oh shit. Learning, learning, learning guitar. Uh, but, I, I, I've tried that. Yeah. I, I, I prefer to learn how to play bass just because like that holds a song together more. Yeah, yeah, I understand. And like, like every song out there either has a drum beat or a bass guitar or both. Yeah, got to. So I mean, <laughs> but um, because like bass just sounds great. Like like there's a couple bass players that come to mind. You know, like Flea from the Chili Peppers, one of the all time yeah. greats. Hey, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can you can tell if it's Chili Peppers if you if you hear that bass bass guitar. Like, oh yeah, that's, oh, yeah. that's and, Flea. Uh, <laughs> Is uh oh my god from Rage, um, yeah. Uh, I don't know his name, but I know oh, Tom, talking. Tom Morello. Is it? Is that it? I don't. I don't know if he's the bass player. I don't think he's the bass player. Okay, it's not bass. But their bass player is really good too. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, for but, sure. Uh, I know uh, gym class heroes. They have a really good bass player. Oh, I was just listening to uh, <laughs> Keep It Chill called the other day. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> like, I actually listened to all four of their albums they had on Spotify, like, a couple months ago. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they're actually, like, uh-huh. they're not bad. Like, they kind of got a bad rap because they came in, they came into, like, the rap rock phase, kind of mm-hmm. at the end of it. <laughs> they came in, like, right, right as it was dying out. Yeah. So I was like, eh. So they really didn't stick around long. <laughs> but I really liked them. Uh, yeah, me too. I liked uh, Travis's lyrics. Cause like he had some pretty good uh, lyrics back in the me day. Me too. And I actually really loved. I was probably in like eighth grade, but um, the song "Billionaire" with uh, Bruno Mars came out. Yeah. Ah, oh, loved it. Yeah, <laughs> like I, I, that's like really the only song I listened to from from his solo career. That mm. and I think, uh, I think yeah, I think his album was called Lazarus. But then he had a mm. he had a song he had a song with Jason Mraz. I remember. Oh, okay. But yeah. I don't know if I actually. Uh, I remember Jason Mraz's part, but I don't actually remember Travis' part. I don't even know if I've heard it. Maybe, maybe I've heard it, I just don't know the name. But. Yeah, like, because I remember it being a thing, but I, I, I can't, I don't know the name of it. But, <laughs> uh, who, who, uh, you said Roland uh, Hills does your producing, right? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Nice. Um, uh, he, he, he comes up with the beat, or how does that work? Well, there's sometimes it's like, you know, collabs like with other people and whatnot yeah. for the beat but like uh like mix and mastering and everything make sure it sounds good or like you know or just picking out certain beats himself because like he he does make beats himself too yeah so uh yeah it, we'll just go through and see what's good and then you know yeah. Yeah. So, so so you also help with the beats or you or do he just no, no, no. okay I, i've tried okay. <laughs> i've tried and he even has like the little uh drum pad and whatnot and i just i i can't do it well yeah. can't do it <laughs> because like because uh I've always wondered like how, how it worked because like because mm-hmm. I, I, I know Dr. Dre he, he's top of the producer I, I don't know if they if they all make the beats and then they just send it to you or they're like they ask you to come in and then you do the beats or yeah actually there has been uh like uh I mean sometimes like I'll find something but then sometimes like I'll even have like uh, my producer or you know maybe a couple other ones I've worked with and uh, they'll just send me something, yeah. and then I write to her, you know, whatever, whatever. And uh, but yeah, yeah, for the most part, it's just you know, like a collab. Okay. Like we'll throw stuff in together. Now, um, with with music, do you have you have you ever wrote a song while you're in the booth, like like before you just go in there, you <laughs> listen to the beat, you just go in there and straight kill it, don't even write anything down, just off the top of the head, or. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. I don't know about like a whole song, but I know there's been probably three or four times at least where it's a, I have something like, like a nice beat, whatever, and I've already written to it and, uh, it just, it sounds really nice, yeah. but then I don't have like a, let's say like a second or third verse. So it's like, well, can you, can you get it done? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll just sit there and I'll do my thing, go through it and yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, do you? Do you do you prefer to write your things or have you do you like freestyling as well? I love freestyling, even though I'm not as good at it anymore. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mostly just write. Okay. I've got a whole bunch of written stuff and probably a handful of phones worth of uh, material I've lost. So, <laughs> so continuously working. Uh, do you write it down on paper? Or do you type it in your phone or do you do a mixture of the two? Oh, phone. Oh, oh actually, I still I think I still have like a couple uh, random papers of you know just okay. material. Hmm. Yeah. Um, who's your current favorite uh, artist? Oh man, I actually uh, I have a couple favorites. Okay. It's like more of like underground rap, but uh, yeah. I mean up and coming underground yeah. rap, I should say. But uh, uh Puya, uh, Wi-Fi's Funeral, Bones for sure. Actually, I should have said Bones first. But uh, who else? Xavier Wolf, Chris Travis. Uh, Ghost Man, because he incorporates like heavy metal into the music, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Suicide Boys also. Yeah. I've heard I've heard the name of Suicide Boys, but I don't know any. I, I wouldn't know anything about oh, really them. But, but I've definitely heard the name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have any like uh, people you would love to work like collaborate with like on the like in a song? Hmm. Like locally or like uh, just any locally or any it doesn't matter. You can do, you can do one from both. Either. Okay, I'll do one from both. Locally, probably, uh, like, OG Quad, or, uh, 
kids better and uh, mm -hmm. probably let, probably let Pu uh, Puya or Bones Puya or Bones like a like you know celebrity was okay. is there like anyone like from from like the old rap game from let's say like 2000 like past 2010 you would love to work with back in their prime oh yeah Eminem for sure yeah got to got to yeah uh, who else? Um, uh, maybe like honestly, I don't know why, but like Petey Pablo. Yeah. I guess because like the North Carolina thing. Yeah. But uh, and probably also Jay Z, just because it's a Jay Z. So. Yeah. Like if if I could, if I could work with anybody, mm -hmm. it might be weird, but I would have loved to work uh, with Kanye West. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because like there's like a lot of diversity. Yeah. There. Because, like, back in the day, <clears throat> he was really, really good. He was on top of the game for a while yeah. back, in his, back in his day. And now, I think he's kind of fallen off a little bit. Kind of got a little weird. But even even then, I probably still work with him today. Just yeah, for sure. Because, like, he, he, he has, like, one of those weird minds where he's, like, where he's, like, he's like really, he's really, he's really, he's kind of a genius. But he's aware of that fact. Yeah, so and, it's like, and, then he, and then he gets really weird with it. <laughs> and so like sometimes I think he just does. I think he just acts really weird just to fuck with people, for the probably. most part. Yeah, I think with Kanye, it's probably. I mean, sometimes good, sometimes bad. But like a like a slot machine. Yeah. You know, it's like you just you kind of test yeah. it and see where it goes. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I, with the like, I I know who's supporting Trump, and like that's that's not the it's not the ideal thing to do in the celebrity <laughs> world anymore. Yeah, yeah, Cause well, like, sure. Because, like, now, if you support your president, like, in this time, everyone's like, oh, no, you shouldn't. Yeah, like, <laughs> torch and pick, uh, pitchforks and all that. Yeah. And it's just like, everyone's just like, everyone's like, no, nah, man, you can't support our president now. <laughs> like, God uh, forbid. Yeah. But no, no, I actually feel everyone on that. Like, me personally, you know, I don't. I'm not even political, I guess. Yeah, I, I try not to. I try to stay away from politics. Yeah, me it's, too. It's a very, very touchy subject. Yeah, it causes a lot of tension. It causes a lot of, a lot of tension. <laughs> like, oh yeah, you're this, this. I'm just like, nah, man. I don't, I don't really care for either or. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, I'll, I'll vote. I'll vote whenever mm. it matters. But other than that, I don't, <laughs> I don't really pay. I don't watch the news enough to pay attention. Oh, uh, I couldn't even vote when it came down to Hillary or Trump, like technically. So. Even at the time, I was like, "It's like whatever." Yeah, you know, like I just, I just thought that was because they didn't call it the the presidential election on the internet. They called it the Great Meme War of twenty sixteen. <laughs> that's I mean, <laughs> that's pretty much what it was. Yeah. Especially when it came down to like uh, when Gary Johnson was in the race there. Gary Johnson, who <laughs> he was like the third party candidate. <laughs> And, uh, oh, I think like, I, yeah, I think I know you're talking yeah, like, about. Like Trump is has this per, this certain amount of percentage, and Hillary had this amount of percentage in each state, and then yeah. Gary Johnson had this very small percentage. <laughs> the old sliver. And then someone took that one thing from SpongeBob and was like, "Come on, Gary, it's a race." <laughs> <laughs> and that oh, was like man. one of my favorite memes out of the entire ordeal. <laughs> <Just like, laughs> mm. uh, and like, ah, uh, man, it's. <laughs> I just love memes. I love the internet. Dude, I, I don't know what I would do nowadays if it wasn't for memes. Yeah, dude. I hate sounding like that, but it's like, it, it's true. Like, I don't know yeah. what, the, what the hell I do. Memes make the, the days go by, man. Oh, yes. Meme, memes are great. For like my medication is like once every two hours. It's like, yeah. meme. Meme, yeah. At least oh. one. Hey, gotta, gotta get the dankest of dank memes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You have to, man. You, you, you can't you can't go down to those low tier memes no. that's been around for years. Like no, nah, man. Like they've been recycled too much. Like yeah, you know. Yeah, you, you got to go with those like those like next level. Yeah, oh yeah. Like, and like I, I kind of miss Vine for that because Vine was like on top of the meme world for a while, <laughs> and then it and then it just went away, and now it's like oh man, now we're just stuck with iPhone. Man, I miss <laughs> Vine so much. <laughs> Me and you oh, both, me. man. Like, my favorite Viner was uh, Brandon Calviero. Like, yeah, I don't know, it was, he was so weird, and I just loved him. And that uh, that one dude, Chaz Smith, I think. Chaz. Like, hmm. all their, like, he just made really funny faces for most of them. Oh, okay. Really funny. <laughs> yeah. But, man, Vine was just, oh, 
Oh man, it was just a it was a spectacle, man. It was it, it was, was it was a good time. It was. I hate that it ended. I was still actually uh, not too too long ago went back and just looking up like old vines. Yeah. Dude, even the classics like the chick getting water poured on her face and it's like, <laughs> hello or hello. <laughs> Hello? Fucking class. I'm like, are you a lesbian? Because that one's like, I'm, I'm lesbian. Lesbian? I thought you were an American. <laughs> <laughs> like, I loved that one. That was pretty funny. Uh, and like that weird oof. Spider-Man, like, ass clap thing. Oh, dude. <laughs> no. Like, oh, God. that one killed it for a while. My favorite one was the John Cena one. Like, <gasps> John Cena! <laughs> like that one. And the one he was like, are you sure about that? <laughs> I love <laughs> those two. Uh, I don't know if I remember that one. But yeah. John, John Cena for sure. Yeah, and then the RKO out of nowhere. Those are good too. <laughs> RKO out of nowhere. <sighs> like, just, it was funny because, like, it, it brought people who make fun of the internet and all that and wrestling fans together, which is hard to do. Because, <laughs> like, some of the wrestling fans on the internet, they're, they're kind of dicks. Oh, yeah. But, uh, I mean, <laughs> they, 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 they defend the sport. They're like, yeah. Like, wrestling's fake, and they're like, fuck you. <laughs> it's not fake. It's, it's not to find a medium. Yeah, it's just predetermined. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, are you into sports? Uh, I'm not against sports. I mean, no, I skate. Like, I've been skating yeah. since, like, 10 years old, probably. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We grew, we, we grew up in the 90s and early 2000s. So was Tony Hawk your idol, or... <laughs> When I was younger, yeah. <laughs> but then once I started getting older, like playing more Tony Hawk games, I'm yeah. seeing like more pro skaters and uh, like their actual like real live video parts. Yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, killing it! Like, <laughs> you know, like shred, bro. And uh, yeah, there, there's too many to name. Like, I was always a fan of uh, Bam Margera. Oh, always, dude. And uh, Rob Deirdre. Yeah, yeah. Always. Like, I never really watched Rob Deirdre skate that much because they never really showed it on on any of his TV show. Yeah, I mean, there's like clips here and there. But, but like, I actually went back and looked at his old skating stuff. And he was actually really good. Yeah, especially like the early 2000s. Yeah. Like, they were still like, he was like putting work in for videos and stuff. Yeah. I was like, oh shit, kill it. You know? There was one, uh, there was one who's, who, who, who was, uh, who was always on the Robin Deirdre shows. He'd always come on, I think his name was Ryan, but I can't think of his last Oh, Ryan Sheckler. Yeah. Oh, dude, he even had, like, his own uh, MTV show, The Life really? of Ryan. Oh, that was that? Oh, I yeah, never actually watched it. Dude, it was, it was so bad. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, like, how it was set up, but, uh, you know, as a skater and everything, like, like, he's, like, he's super good. And his brothers are, too, actually. Oh, wow. Like, his younger brothers. Yeah. He, like, like, trained little prodigies. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Now, uh, so you, you still, you still skate, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you have you have you progressed since since you were young or is it about the same? Oh yeah, no, it's been the same for probably since high school. Well, I mean, say maybe like except for like a few tricks, but okay. Uh, yeah, no, I got to a certain point. And it's like you know, I got comfortable with it, and it's like the red, like anything above that yeah. was like super huge stairs and rails, <laughs> like handrails and stuff, and I'm like. I don't know about all that. Okay, so, 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 so you do know how to do the handrail stuff, right? Like small ones, like okay. if I'm at like a skate park or something. So. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you still go to skate parks or? Uh, I went in the last couple of months, I think. Okay. Probably since Christmas, like uh, there's a new park. Probably like, it's like 30 minutes from here. Okay. Because like I tried skateboarding and then I was kind of like, I was kind of like the, uh, the big black uh Oh, I, I was yeah. kind of like him. I was like, yeah, I'm not much of a skater. Uh, <laughs> like, I will, I will uh, go with you guys, but I'm not gonna skate because if I if I stay on the skateboard, I'm gonna bust my ass. <laughs> and uh, support. Yeah, yeah, that's why I always look up to Christopher Big Black Boykin because like he was there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, R.I.P. But he was there. But he was not. He was not getting on that skateboard. No. He, I mean, he gave it a shot once or twice. Yeah, he gave it a shot once without padding, and then he he busted his ass like <laughs> midway down the ramp. Yeah. And then like they did it again later on in the season, and he just like wrapped himself up in bubble wrap <laughs> and shit. Yeah. And then he doesn't still goes down. But. Oh man. That's why I like because like I could, I could I was pretty much there for the same reason he was just to like. 
Yeah. If people giving people giving everyone hell, and I'm like, all right, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I was uh, the big guy of the group, so I looked intimidating. Like, <laughs> like, like, what's up with it? Like, what's up, man? <laughs> and that's like the one thing I like about being my size because, like, like if you wear tight enough shirts in the arms, yeah. you look huge. <laughs> so people just look intimidated, so people won't, won't like try to mess with you. That's a good thing sometimes. <laughs> Now, uh, do you have any, like, do you, do you watch a lot of YouTube, or? Uh, kind of, kind of not. I mean, yeah. probably, yeah. Do you have <laughs> any, like, favorite uh, channels you always go to? Of course, uh, No Jumper, mm-hmm. uh, and the dude that does No Jumper, Adam22. Okay. His own, like, personal channel, which is Adam22. Uh, Cuff Boys, as always, like, got to watch Cuff Boys. And, um, who else? Uh, yeah, it's pretty much just like like vlog stuff, you know. Okay, because I watch a lot of uh, uh, Rhett and Link, or I used to, and I, I don't I don't really watch a lot of it mm-hmm. anymore. Cause, just because like I watch so much of it, I got burnt out on it. No, oh, and I it haven't. Happen. I still yeah. haven't gone back, but I do watch a lot of uh, Watch Mojo because I love the top ten lists. Like anything mm-hmm. that involves top ten lists, I watch it. <laughs> but uh, also uh, this one YouTube channel I've been getting into is called First We Feast. Oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Cause, like, they have this thing called Hot Ones. Hot Ones, dude. And I love that yes. show actually, so much. Actually, I'm subscribed. Same. Yes. I love Hot Ones. I actually want to try it because like I'm not very good with Hot Wings. Oh, dude, I saw that one video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Zach's Pizza Challenge? Yeah. The oh, dude. Insane Wings. But like, here recently, I, I was, I, there was like one month, I think it was February or March, a little mixture of both. Yeah. I couldn't sleep very well. Mm-hmm. And so I knew, I knew spicy food made me sleepy. So oh, okay. I would I bought like a bunch of like great value bags of buffalo wings from Walmart and I would just eat them. <laughs> and now they don't phase me anymore. Oh, so like so now now I gotta step it up, and now oh, I think I'm ready. <laughs> I think oh, I'm ready to try some no. really hot wings. Dude, okay. Uh, have you ever saw like on the hot ones? Um, it's this all like that's always towards the end. It's yeah. called Pain One Hundred Percent. Yeah. It, dude, I I've had this. My friend actually. Uh, Probably like 15, 20 minutes away. Mm-hmm. He had a bait, or he might still have it, but he had a bottle, and uh, I don't know where he got it. But dude, this stuff is so thick, it's like a paste. It's not even like. Oh man. You know how Texas Pete is like a sauce, and yeah. it like really runny? Yeah. No, this is like a paste, like thick oh, paste. Oh god, I'm ready. Yeah, and it's still got like all the insides of the pepper in it and stuff. Oh man. Is it hot? It's really hot. It's really good, but it's really hot. Cause like I, I, I know the one they use at the last is called the last. The last dab. dab. And like they put a little extra on it. Yes. And everyone reacts differently to it. Yeah. Like it's really funny because like everyone has a has a reaction. It's, it's like oh this is. This is hot. <laughs> oh yeah. But like one of my favorites was uh, Eric Andre. When he when he was on the show, like, oh, I, actually, I, I don't think I finished it. Like his was actually really funny because like he he's getting confident, he's getting kind of cocky with the, the wings, and then, like it, it hits him like near the end. <laughs> he's like, oh, oh man, <laughs> Hannibal Burris was another funny one. Oh dude, Hannibal, yes, <laughs> he was really funny in it too. And uh, I recently just watched John. The last one I watched was John Mayer's. And he did, oh, he has one. Yeah, he had one, and I watched it, and he was actually pretty funny in it, <laughs> which is weird because like. I, I, I've known John Mayer as like a musician, mm-hmm. but he's also been getting into the comedy realm too. Wow, okay. He's actually he's, uh-huh. he's actually pretty funny. Like I saw him in a movie. It was like Get Hard with uh, Will Ferrell. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's weird to see like musicians go into comedy and yeah. be really good at it because like one um, yeah. you know, the one band that's done the best at it is probably the Foo Fighters because like all their music videos are just goofy. Oh, they're okay, all, yeah, they're, all yeah. they're all hilarious. I remember the one from Monkey Wrench. I kind of like like it was <laughs> yeah. it was pretty good. Yeah, like my favorite music video by them was probably Learn to Fly, mm-hmm. just because like like literally it's just, it's just like the band members just playing pretty much every single character in that music video, <laughs> and Tenacious D's in it, which is my mm. which is uh my dad Jack Black. <laughs> 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 I don't think he actually is my dad, but he never he he won't return my my tweets so. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> apparently check his mail either. Hey, but, man, but, I, I want to meet you, Dad. Jack Black, <laughs> if you're watching, I want to meet you. Because <laughs> we, we're the same person. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird because, like, 
Once I realized that I did look like Jack Black, mm. I just listened to a lot of Snatch D to learn how to <laughs> to learn how to get that that same sound when it comes to like singing. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, right, I'm gonna learn how to sound like Jack Black. <laughs> Dude, that's a very unique sound. Yeah. Like, you know, if you can do it, like, much props. Even when he talks, it's not that hard because he 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 has like one of, he has like that weird uh, California accent. Where it's like it's, yeah. it's like somewhat nasally, but not like too nasally. Kind of like uh, Green Day. <laughs> and like, I I love <laughs> I love impersonating people, mm-hmm. like especially when it comes to musicians, because it's so easy to impersonate. It's <laughs> like a singer's voice, especially Green Day, man. Yeah. Like Green Day probably has like one of the the easiest voices to impersonate because like it comes through the nose. Most of it's like. It's really funny. No, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I think that's like why Green Day is one of my favorite bands. It's because they're so easy to impersonate. <laughs> Damn. When I come around, it's like it's like it's when I, like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and all good. Like I love how everyone impersonates uh, Tom DeLonge when a Blink One Eighty Two song comes on. <laughs> oh, the. <laughs> like, Everyone does it. Like, it's like I was like, "Are you really singing Blink One Eight Two if you're not doing that? Like, are you really? <laughs> you, you don't you don't oh. hear all the small things and not try to sound like Tom DeLonge. You're not you're not a true fan of music. <laughs> or, like just just go. Like I've also been trying to do like Foo Fighters. Like I've been trying to learn how to do that scream just because it sounds amazing. Oh, Dave Grohl. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yes. It's so hard because Dave Grohl's a beast. Bro. Like he's probably the musician I want to meet the most. It, super, it, I swear he's got superhero powers. He does, man. Like he, he's also the reason I want to <laughs> learn how to play drum. Uh, he's also the reason I got in, into drumming. Because oh, he, he can do both. Wasn't yeah, he? he was like drummer for a Nirvana. Yep. Yeah, and he then, was. Yeah. And then uh, Kurt blew his brains out. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go about it. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's it's been like twenty years. It's 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 okay to say it like that. True, true. South Park said. I mean, South Park did say if, it, if it's been ten years, we can joke about it. Oh, okay. Yeah, In two thousand eleven, everyone went crazy for not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, we we like to stay edgy here. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, got you. Yeah, keep everyone <laughs> on the toes. Like, oh, what are we gonna joke about next? Nine eleven. Right. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yay! But uh, yeah, <laughs> Kurt died, and then they went into uh, <clears throat> he started he started uh, the Foo Fighters from there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he actually played every instrument on the first Foo Fighters album. Yeah. He's just like he's yeah. like I don't have a band yet. Like I'm just kind of yeah, like that's pretty much how he went. Oh okay. Yeah, and like the, the fourth member of Nirvana, like Pat Smear, he just kind of yeah. helped them live. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he yeah. said Pat Smear. <laughs> 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 no, it's not like, his name is literally Pat. Smear. It's like, wow. It's a weird ass His name. His parents kind of screwed him over on that. Yeah, they did. <laughs> like, he was like the fourth member of Nirvana, but he was only there live. He only helped him live. Green Day has a fourth member, and then he, he, he just does live. Wow. But, uh, Damn. yeah, but, yeah, he helped in like a couple songs, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> and then he was a part of the band for like a couple years, then he left, and they came back in like 2011. He just thinks he can just like leave, like come and yeah. go as he wants. Yeah. I mean, there was one album where, like, the Foo Fighters were just a trio. Yeah, they only had three members in one, on one album. <laughs> it was, like, it was like the album I Learned to Fly was on. Oh, they, okay. they're, only, they're only a three-person band. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I'm behind, then. Yeah, like, well, I got bored one day when I worked at the movie theater. I got bored, and I was waiting for everyone to finish. And so I was kind of, like, on Wikipedia just reading the Foo Fighters. <laughs> <laughs> reading their history. <laughs> And uh, one of my friends for Christmas one year, he actually got me a uh, car sticker mm-hmm. of Dave Grohl's head. Like it's just the oh, outline. Dude. It's just the outline of his hair and his beard. But you can clearly t- it looks oh. like Jesus, but you can also <laughs> kind of tell that it's Dave Grohl. <laughs> Either way it goes, it's like you know. Yeah. I mean, well, well, like they they do make like Jesus Dave Grohl candles. They do. Yeah. Jesus Grohl. Yeah, well, like <laughs> it, it, it's actually in the shape of Jesus, but it's Dave Grohl's face. Yeah, it's just a candle. <laughs> I've, yeah. I've honestly thought about buying one. This could, yeah, yeah. This could be funny to have. For you. Like YOLO, you know. Yeah. Well, Even though that sounds like super, like, 2012. <laughs> I mean, it, the message is true, though. You only YOLO once. <laughs> you only laugh once. 
True. Uh, <laughs> no, that would suck so bad. Oh, man, you only get one la- <laughs> laugh, like, per day or per, like, life? No, forever. Oh, man. Yeah. God, life would be boring. Yeah, oh, yeah. Because, like, you couldn't, you couldn't enjoy comedy movies if you could only, if you could only laugh one time in your lifetime. It would be something like, if you saved your laugh for, like, something special. Mm-hmm. Like, like, some day, and it's, like, it's, like, the one laugh, but then, like, you kind of, like, screw it up. Then it's, like... <laughs> like what are you gonna do about it? Like yeah, nothing. Like, you had one left. Yep. And then like, and then like death comes up behind you. Oh well, you, 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 you wasted it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I gotta go. Like, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Good luck in hell. <laughs> 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 oh man. <laughs> uh, the one, the little bit of news I've seen recently, because I, I don't keep track of news. I don't. I don't. I don't care enough to watch. I mean, I'll, sometimes I might. Yeah. yeah. Like, how I get my news is through Philip DeFranco on YouTube. <laughs> that's how I get my news. If Philip DeFranco does a video on it, that's 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 how I keep in track with, with, oh, okay. with news. Um, which Shall is probably, it's probably a <laughs> shitty way to keep track of news. No, no, no. Whatever way you deem. Uh, yeah, man. Because no. like I know there's a news section on YouTube, but I'm like, you know what? Nope, not important. Philip DeFranco, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I get to what I know. Like, I think it's because he calls me a beautiful bastard that makes me feel warm inside. Oh, <laughs> I just... Oh. <laughs> the, the little bit of news I actually have, well, I've seen yeah. on the internet, is like, apparently the NFL has signed a thing to where it makes all of their players, they kind of have to stand for the national anthem now. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh I saw that, God. and I was just like, man... <laughs> It's not, like, what's the point? <laughs> but, I mean, that's what you're supposed to do, but it's yeah. like, really, then again, it's like, how much of a big, you know, like, how big of a deal is it? Yeah. It's like, just... Because, like, if you think <laughs> if you think about it, on the 4th of July, if you're out there wearing a tank top that's, like, the American flag, that's also against the Constitution. Yeah, sure. Like, I own a pair of swim trunks that's the American flag. Yeah. That's a, That's against the Constitution. <laughs> So like it's nowhere does it say you can't you you have to stand. Yeah, yeah no, you don't have to do anything. Yeah, you don't. They're not gonna make. Oh, except for pay taxes. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, that's really the only thing you have to do is pay taxes and and kind of vote. Uh, well, <laughs> you kind of yeah, well you don't have to vote, but the, like it's it's frowned upon if you don't. But no one's really gonna beat you up for not voting. Yeah, like a SWAT team is gonna come into your house, crash the ceiling. Like, you didn't vote. <laughs> It was like like in every like uh like voting stand or whatever. Yeah. Like standing there, it's like you uh gonna vote. It's like you gonna vote. Yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> Better go vote. Better go vote. And he's like, he pulls out a knife. You're gonna go vote. I don't know which. <laughs> Figure it out. Like okay, oh god. <laughs> he's like crying in the fetal position. <laughs> I'll go vote. Oh. He's at that point just throwing a he's just throwing a dart and just hope it hope you hope you st- hope it sticks. Oh, you for just <laughs> wow. <laughs> so uh, when Macho Burger first started, you were like one of the the first supporters of it whenever it first started. Uh, yeah, and then we went on a hiatus for like two years. Yeah. Um. So in that two year span, what uh, were you expecting us to come back, or you just thought it was gonna be a lost cause? <laughs> I mean, there's there's hope for anything, but it's like I mean, it's like I don't know, you know. Sometimes like stuff happens, you know, just yeah. you know whatever. And uh, but yeah, I didn't know if it's coming back or what. But like, I mean, since the beginning, like you said, you know, you're doing something like some yeah. project wise, and I was like, oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Because like I thought about bringing it back, and I was like, yeah, I'll make a Facebook post about it. I was like, it was like who would be excited for it? And then like a lot of people were just like, oh hell yeah, and I'm just like, whoa, whoa. like I was like, whoa. <laughs> I was surprised that so many people were were excited, and I was just like, yeah. oh, I didn't think I had this much of a following. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 yeah, man, it's good stuff. Yeah, because like, uh, what, what, because like in the past two years, I just been kind of just sitting here, and I was like, man, I, I could have made videos, yeah. but I just never, never really did. Because like, man. wait, why not? Uh, we well, we we did this March Madness thing, mm-hmm. and I was like, because I. I I watch Much Madness, mm-hmm. but I wasn't aware that like if I make prediction videos, yeah. I had to do it round by round. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and there was like two or three just sleepless nights mm-hmm. where I was up all night just filming, editing, 
and oh. releasing it. And that really, like, burnt me out from it. And then also oh, on top of that, like, uh, the people we had were all just leaving. Mm-hmm. So, like, we, we lost Steven because he, he just didn't want to do it anymore. Oh, yeah. And, like, uh, KJ was he, was... he was still helping us. Mm-hmm. But uh, he kind of wasn't... He was trying to... I don't, I don't really know what happened there, honestly. But <laughs> he, if he ever wants to come back, I, I'm more than welcome to have anyone come back who used to be a part of it. Yeah. But uh, the th- thing is, like, we were just sort of losing people. And I, I was getting burned out. And, like, there's actually a couple videos that we had filmed that I never got around to editing just because, like, I was oh, so burnt out on it. Because <laughs> there was a video of me and KJ watching the movie The Happening <laughs> together. And it was, like, has Mark Wahlberg in it. It's, like, one of the worst movies ever made. <laughs> Why do I feel like I saw it then? <laughs> it's, a, it's the plot. The, the, it's an M. Night Shyamalan movie. And the plot twist. This sounds like a name like, for M. Night Shyamalan yeah, movie. The plot twist is, like, the leaves are killing people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I think I saw it wrong. It, it's like Mark. Of course, it's in my like my movie yeah, playlist. Like it's Mark Wahlberg and Zoe Deschanel. I mean, him watch it. We, this, oh my gosh! We watched it twice in one day. We watched it once to see what we'd make fun of. <laughs> no. and we watched it again to see, and then we, we filmed the second one to make fun of it. No. And I have it on a flash drive somewhere, but like my computer's USB ports. Oh, it's over mm-hmm. here. Oh. They're broken, so they yeah. I'd have to like put it on my on a different computer and just send it to this one. <laughs> I think that's why I never got around to editing that one. But uh, yeah. we have this ending video, yeah. that little bit of end credit thing we have, yeah. where like John, where Jonathan's turning off the camera and he's just like, "Was well, this a bad idea?" And I'm just like, "Uh." That <laughs> 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 actually came from a uh, video that me and John made. It was a Mad Lib video. Oh, but I didn't get it. Hey. I forgot to edit it, and I found it when I was like uploading a different video <laughs> onto my computer, and I was just like, "Wait!" <laughs> <laughs> and I was looking back, and but I didn't have the microphone for it, so like I couldn't upload it anyways if I wanted to because you could barely <laughs> hear it because like that camera isn't all that great when it comes to audio. That's right. why I have an extra microphone. Okay, uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> and so like I couldn't like just use it. So that was like the only thing you could hear because like his voice was like right at the microphone. I'm just like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Macho Macho Burgers, like it's definitely we're definitely into it this time. Like we're definitely yeah. more dedicated this time around. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> even if it, his first like time. even if it is just me and Jonathan, I'm just hoping for the best at this point. <laughs> yeah. Everything has potential to grow, man. Yeah. Is there anything that we did in the past that you want to see come back? Hmm. What was, um... Because, like, I, I know we did food challenges, and those were, like... Dude. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why... <laughs> okay, first of all, yes. Okay. Because <laughs> me, me and food, this it's yeah. like, um... Sometimes a love-hate relationship, but mostly yeah. just love. And, I, yeah, I got to. The worst challenge we did, in my opinion, was the uh, Macho Taco, where we ate, like, the 12-pack. Yeah, oh, oh dude, I forgot all about that. I didn't feel sick the night after. It was the day. I didn't feel sick the night we ate it. I, I ate them all, because I was the only one to finish all 12. Yeah. And I didn't feel bad the next day, but that next morning, when I woke up, yeah. I was like, oh, man, my <laughs> stomach hurt, dude. Whoa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, I, I felt fine the night, the night of, and then, like, I got to work, and, like, I was the usher, so I was like putting the check sheets up for all the for all the theaters. Yeah. And I got to one bathroom, and I didn't know the manager was walking by, and I just like projectile vomited oh, into the toilet. I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> she was like, "Are you okay?" I was like, "No." <laughs> and oh, I had man. to explain what happened, and I was like, "I just ate twelve tacos last night, all in one sitting, <laughs> for a video." <laughs> Like, what do you even say to that? It's like, oh, <laughs> go home. You're puking. Leave. <laughs> but yeah, it was. Oh man, it was fun during and then after the after like the, the aftermath the next day. I came home. It was like the day before my birthday. I came oh, here. Man. I came in here. I just laid in my bed, watched like a pre game, like preseason game of football, and just fell asleep. I didn't. I don't remember who won. I just fell asleep. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Like, yeah. 
I didn't, I didn't eat anything <laughs> that day because like I was still full from the day before. Oh god. And the next day was my birthday, and then I actually went out to eat, and I was like, all right, sweet. <laughs> but like the thing about that is like, don't try that at home ever. <laughs> don't try it anywhere ever. <laughs> like we we had to put like. The special disclaimer saying that Taco Bell was not a sponsor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, please, yeah. Taco Bell does not want you to do this at home. <laughs> and they're it's also not a sponsor. Yeah, it's like, this is not like a registered like challenge yeah. or anything. And then we, me, me and KJ did the uh, 50 McNugget a piece. And that man, that that, 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 that ca- cashier at McDonald's <laughs> Cause I was like, hey man, can I get 50 McNuggets? He's like, yeah. And he comes up behind me. Can I also get 50 McNuggets? He was like, oh. Dude, they had a deep fry hundred McNuggets. Dude, one time I was at McDonald's, uh, probably like a few months ago, and um, they had just started serving like uh, everything else besides breakfast. Yeah. And uh, what was it? It's like, can I get a twenty piece? And then like my friend Bishop, uh, you know, shout out Bishop, and uh, he uh, he got a twenty piece, and his girl got a twenty piece. So it was like sixty nuggets, yeah, all at the same time, like back to back. Oh man. And uh. It was still like kind of early, so they were like, "Yeah, we'll get them." It's like, "Oh, okay, sorry." But, <laughs> <laughs> but like the, th- the thing about the fifty nugget one was like, I got to thirty four, or like KJ stopped at like twenty something because like he he was remembering like what McNuggets are made of that weird Aww. pink slime. And he's like, "Boy, I can't do it." So he he got through a full twenty piece. But like I, I got to like a thirty. I got to like thirty something, and then we just kind of stopped. But then like a week later, I was like, I wonder if I really can do it. Yeah. And I did it. The secret behind it is, and I don't know if people want. I don't know if I should say it or not, but I'm I mean, going to. The secret behind it is, yeah. don't eat the sauce with it. If you dip it in the sauce, you're gonna get full because the sauce. Uh, I mean, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the okay. sauce fills you up quicker because it's thick. Yeah. So, like, any type of sauce, don't eat it. That's how you win. Damn. That's how you beat the 50. Uh, it's going to be hard. Yeah. Look for me. But, yeah. like, I can smash some nuggets. Yeah. I'm not even going to lie. But, like, they, they <laughs> taste better with sauce. And that and that's the oh, hardest yeah. part is getting getting your mind about, okay, you don't need the sauce. That's probably <laughs> what would, like, the only thing holding me back is, like, the fact of, like, the extra stuff is made of, like, the pink, like, toothpaste, like, looking yeah. stuff. Yeah. That doesn't bother me. I don't know it really why. doesn't bother me either. Because I've seen what hot dogs are made of. I still eat hot dogs. Yeah, like I will smash a hell of hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> and I definitely want to do a, a wing challenge again. Like, I'm definitely down. Dude. Because spicy, I, I'm not a huge fan of spicy food, but I don't fear spicy food. Okay. Uh-oh. Like, I'm not a fan, Uh-oh. but I'm not afraid. <laughs> I'll pretty much do, I'll pretty, like if someone was like, hey man, because there was like that chip going around, like the hottest, that like, really spicy chip. Yeah. I'll yeah. do it. I'm uh, definitely trying. My uh, my friends I was talking about earlier, they actually had a bag of um, some like soup, like hella hot chips, and uh, they come in a black bag, and I'm gonna say it's like a skull and crossbones on it. Yeah. And it's like you know, like be careful, or whatever. Once you get like the hot, like like the heat, like once it's over with, yeah, and you just keep going at it. So good. Yeah. Worth it, kind of. Because I definitely want to try the. I, I definitely want to. Because we had this idea before we went on hiatus was like, okay, let's just, let's just go, let's, let's print out the Scoville scale yeah. and start with the most mildest pepper yeah. and literally work our way up to the hottest. Like, we're going to we're gonna eat every single pepper on that list. Oh, my God. We thought about it, but we never did it. <clears throat> I'm down yeah. to do that. Because, <laughs> like, like, I know once we get to, like past habanero, we're going to have to break those videos down. Yeah, into like yeah. single hand videos because that's how you tear out your stomach. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, for sure. But the thing is, I've seen everyone react the exact same way to the Carolina Reaper. Dude, I actually have some of this growing uh, ghost peppers and Carolina Reapers right now. If you ever need, oh, you know, the stuff for a challenge. You know? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. But the thing is, yeah. I can't have dairy products. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I'm lactose and tolerant. There you go. <laughs> I feel like I kind of have to oh, suffer man. through the pain. <laughs> oh man, ice cold water. Well, Does actually, actually, water makes it worse. Okay, well, don't do that. <laughs> well, make, well, then, well, yeah, cause like uh, the water, it, it, you, you think it'd cool it down. Yeah. But it actually, 
it makes it hotter. I don't I don't know how I don't I don't I don't know the exact science behind it, but they say don't drink water if you eat anything spicy. Yeah. They, they say to drink milk. I guess I'm just gonna like try to like man up for everything now. Yeah, just drink. <laughs> like I heard, I heard, I heard beer. Like some certain beers help. Oh well, see, I love beer. So. Same. Like, <laughs> like I am a huge fan. Like, um, I love beer. I just want like maybe uh, start a show on here that involves like trying new beers. Oh, dude, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh. He, he makes his own special beer. Like he he brewed his what? own beer. Like and he sells it. But like the thing is. The bottle itself is six bucks on like Amazon. Like this is just for a bottle of, of the beer. But the shipping and handling for that bottle oh. is twenty five dollars. Because it's glass. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's glass it's and there's liquid in it. And like mm-hmm. I really want to try the beer, but I also don't want to pay that much money. <laughs> Wait, is it like that expensive everywhere? Or like does he sell it like locally wherever the like I don't know, I haven't checked into that. But oh. like I did check on the website. And, like, it's, like, six bucks for the bottle, but you gotta pay the shipping and handling cause, because it's glass, and that's why it's so much on shipping and handling. For one bottle. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, this, uh, hopefully he sell, like, sells it near, like, the uh, distributors. Yeah. And, like, you know, somewhere you can go pick it up just, like, a regular case. Yeah. That'd be awesome. But, like, one of the funniest videos I've seen is him trying, like, different, like, fruity drinks. <laughs> like that's really yes. funny. Oh god! Because he's, he's known for drinking beer. <laughs> yeah, it's like that's you know that's manly. You know? Yeah, like that's his thing. He takes two beer cans, slams them together, and just <laughs> chugs them. That, that, that's when I turned twenty one. That's the first thing I did. I just took two beer cans, stone cold them, bro. Yeah, just stone cold them together, man. Oh man. <laughs> to mine, so lame. I don't even remember like what I did for my twenty first. I think I went to a bar. I I went to lunch with my family and then I went to go get this tattoo for Lincoln Park. Hey. And then I was stone cold beers together. Yes. And then, so, I, went, and then I went to bed. Dude, that's a day's. You know, that's all you need in a day. Yeah. Because like, I probably <laughs> would have stayed up to party by myself, but like the tattoo really wore me out. Yeah. Oh yeah. So like, I don't know, man. Some of the tattoos like I feel good going into them, and then like after I leave, I'm just really sleepy. <laughs> That's how this was me in a one night stand. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, my girl see this. You want to kill me? I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, do you have any tattoos? Yeah, I just got this one right here. Embrace your pain. Hell yeah. It's actually like half of a quote from this movie that uh, I watch. It's actually got Josh from uh, Drake and Josh. Oh man. It's like the first big role he did after the show. Hmm. It's in this movie called uh, The Blackness. And, uh, but yeah, his uh, therapist is, like, part of one of his like, sayings. I think I've seen that movie. He's, like, he, he like, sells weed in the 90s, like, in New York City. Does he fall in love with, like, a black chick? Yeah, yeah, mixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have yes. seen that. It was, on, it was on VH1 or MTV one night, Dude, and I watched it. So yeah. <laughs> like, once you said that, I was like, wait, I've seen that movie. <laughs> it's really good. But, like, he, he did a movie similar to that as well. He did like another movie that was similar to it, but it wasn't nearly as he dramatic. Was, he was also in uh, Drill Bit Taylor. Yeah. It's like like the bully, like when yeah. the bully's in the car. He also played in uh, the remake of Red Dawn, I think. With the, yes. With oh, uh, Chris so Hemsworth, good. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, he was in that. And he also plays in the, um, what is it? Ice Age movies. He plays one of the little bitty squirrel things. He does? Yeah. He's the what? Voice of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, gang. <laughs> <laughs> is that the only tattoo you have or you have oh no no, no. Okay. I also got my best friend he died of an overdose in January it was like a week after his birthday but uh Trey some people like cause I, I don't know why I guess just the way it's uh, the way it's written yeah uh it looks like it says Joey to some people well yeah. to a lot of people yeah but uh I definitely see where they get the the Joey just cause like how that T yeah. loops around and the, the loop in the R is like as big as it is in the E. Yeah. And but like like I definitely knew it said Trey, but I, I could see where where where, where you would get Joey from. Oh yeah. But yeah, I got that, you know, always close to my heart, you know, best yeah. friend around. Yeah. yeah. I remember when you told me that happened, I was like, damn. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, dude, I was I was shocked as well. Yeah, oh yeah, man, I was I was devastated. Same. You were you were a whole lot closer to him though than I was. Yeah, we kinda grew up together. Yeah. Like, 
I, 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 I was, I was kind of terrible after high school because after high school I really didn't keep in touch with anyone. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not kidding. Like after, after high school, like it, I the, the group I hung out with in high school, I just literally just hung out with them for the first time in four years. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for the first time in like like a while, we all went to the beach because it was kind of like a reunion type thing. I was really yeah, much yeah. So like, like the first time I've seen most of them in like four years. <laughs> yeah. Like one night, I got drunk. I was in my fields. I was alone. And I was like, I was like, guys, I'm sorry, I haven't talked to you guys. He's like, yeah, bro, it's cool. Let's all do something. Oh, okay. Uh-uh. Let's all do something. And I was like, all right. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome though it's like you know just hit him up at, like out of the blue yeah it's like oh yep. let's go do something it's like got you like yeah like you <laughs> you Jonathan and uh Steven and KJ were like the people I saw the most cause I would just like shop around in the mall you were always in the mall oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'd, I'd oh, always man. see you randomly like, hey it's my boy Josh <laughs> <laughs> so, like you need to be coming out of Hot Topic or coming out of that uh, Zoomies store yes like, you'd yes. always come out of one of those two stores, or sometimes Spencer's, and I was like, hey. Oh, like, dude, Spencer's, like, I love comedy, too, so it's like, Spencer's, I've got to, man. Like, I think it's really funny that, like, Hot Topic, like, whenever I was a kid, Spencer sold wrestling t-shirts, and then it went down to Hot Topic, and now it's back up at Spencer's. <laughs> so, it's like, it's like a weird limbo thing. Well, it's just all in the same mall. Yeah. It's like, like, it's like, I don't know. Have you been in that mall lately? Well, lately, as it, actually, yeah, in well, within the last couple of months, yeah, it's kind of it's starting to get empty, man. It's kind of I went in there a couple of weeks ago, mm-hmm. and it actually kind of made me sad because like all the stores <laughs> are starting to close. And I'm just like, man, oh, for real? Yeah, like like Damn. I remember like six, six, six stores are like had those that like the black tape and the uh, like the uh, yeah. like the cages or yeah. whatever in front. Like six stores had that, and I was like, damn, man. And I hope it doesn't go out of business, but like I know even even when I was a kid, when you, once you walk in that food court, yeah. those last two, because you have like Charlie's Grilled Subs here, and yeah. then you have those last two, yeah. they've always been closed. Yeah, oh yeah. Even as a kid, they'll open those two things will open for like a month and a half, and then they'll close. <laughs> a month and a half closed. Like I've seen like four or five different restaurants. Oh, and man. I don't know if that Dragon Breath place is still there, but if it's still there. Oh yes, is yeah, it? Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. Okay, wow, yeah. that's like the longest thing that's been there because it's been there for at least a year now. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you, yeah. I should, that's probably the third or fourth thing I saw in there at least, probably yeah. But every time I go in there for food, I always go to Charlie's Grilled Subs. Oh dude, uh, actually I think it's where I went last time. Get like some uh, like buffalo chicken sandwich or something. Yeah, dude. Yes. Always get the uh, three cheese bacon ranch just because it sounds amazing. Oh, <laughs> oh man. And I go in there because they give you a card if, like, you order so many sandwiches, you get, like, the eighth one free or something. Oh, okay. Just so, like uh, Domino's, like, you get the seventh pizza free. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Or it used to be a thing. Yeah. yeah. I know I know, I know. know every pizza place has that rule. If, you, if, if they don't give it to you in 30 minutes or less, it's free. They still do that? I think, I don't know. Like, if, if it takes them more than 30 minutes to get it to you, it's free. Dude. Yeah. I might have to take it. N- never mind. <laughs> like, <you> know, hey, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Wait, there's a Domino's right down the road, so like it always takes them like 15 minutes to get here. Oh, so I'm like, man, <laughs> one of these days, <laughs> the pizza is like a couple minutes down the road, so it's gonna take them like at least 20 to get up here with like yeah. with the, the baking process and everything. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, I might, I might try to. Pizza uh, hub, uh, uh, but the Pizza Hut down this way in Newton is kind of shitty. <laughs> It's like right down here. It's like it's like the only restaurant down that way, really. It's like every time you go in there, no matter yeah. how easy the order is, you just have to want a cheese pizza, and they'll, they'll still have somehow manage to fuck it up. <laughs> and so, like, so if I want Pizza Hut, I drive all the way near the Crawdad Stadium. Oh gosh, I know exactly where you're talking because about. Because that pizza, they're always on their A game, man. They have, oh. Every time I go there, they have yet to mess up a pizza. But they, this one in Newton always messes up my pizza. <laughs> they, they've got to be on point though. It's like, yeah. like that close to the airport and you yeah. know, like interstate and all that. It's yeah. like, you know, like you like, got to. Like, I don't mind driving that far for good pizza though. <laughs> like, I don't mind the drive because this, the other the other pizza is shitty. So <laughs> I definitely don't mind going the extra mile. <laughs> To go and get some decent pizza. Because <clears throat> I like pizza more than Domino's. Mainly because pizza's ah, crust is better. In really? my opinion. I don't, I don't like the garlic crust. 
Uh, I actually haven't had a Pizza Hut in so long, I don't even know what it tastes like anymore. But like, normally, like, I go to Little Caesars because they're cheap. <laughs> Got to. Oh, they're I cheap. love their pretzel crust nacho cheese pizza. Oh, man. I, I, I haven't had it, lot. but it sounds oh, amazing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, you never had it? I haven't had it, but that sounds amazing. Oh, and Little Caesars also had it. I remember when they had that bacon Ooh. pepperoni pizza. Like the crust was had bacon in it. The pizza itself oh, had bacon. On I it. never, I never got to try it. It was good. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. But you felt your arteries clog after eating it. <laughs> <laughs> no, they also had this um, pulled pork like barbecue sauce pizza. Oh, I remember that. But I never got to try it. It was so good. <laughs> I'm a fan of CC's pizza because they have that macaroni and cheese pizza. Oh, dude. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's I, this one of my favorites. Uh, you bust in there for a buffet. Mm-hmm. Oh man, <laughs> like I can I can kill some pizza when I go in there. Oh, dude, same. Like uh, I knew a couple of people, and uh, they knew someone that worked in CC's at the time. Yeah. And uh, they cut a personal pizza, and it's like just give us the like the macaroni and cheese pizza, but like load it down. And she did. Like the girl came back, and I was like, "Are he good, guys?" And I was like, "Oh man, oh man, yo, so good." Man. Have you tried that pie five? Up in Hickory? I have not. I've heard good reviews, though. I've tried it, like, once, and uh, signed up for their deal, because I was going to go over there for, like, National Pie Day, like, 3.14, oh, March, oh. March 14th. Yeah. Oh, that's two days before my birthday. Oh, wow. Mm. Did not know that. I was going to go up there, but we, whenever, like, I was going to go there on lunch break, and I got up there, and it was, the whole parking lot was packed, and we were lying out the door, and I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to wait for that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> only get an hour <laughs> by the time I by the time I get my pizza I'm like five minutes to eat. Oh god! But uh, so I signed up for their deal for that. And so like now every Monday I get a text from them. It's like oh hey we got five ninety nine pizza on Monday. <laughs> but their pizza's not bad. Like you you pretty much get to go in there and build your own pizza, so it's pretty cool. Oh okay. Uh, and, and I think all the toppings are free as well. So oh, it almost reminds me of like like a Five Guys but for pizza. I think it's the same company that owns Five Guys. Oh, for real? Yeah, I think so. Oh, Pop Five, Five, five Oh. Yeah. No, I, mean, I think it's the same company. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> but, man, I, I love a good old Five Guy burger. <laughs> oh, dude. I had my first one, like, three months ago. Oh, man. It, it's life-changing. It, it was. Like, it, it, it's a good burger. Mm-hmm. I'll do Steak and Shake. Yeah. <sighs> Like, there's a there's yes. a burger joint in a Conover. It's called Highway 55. Yeah. And they got some yeah. good burgers. Actually, my, my mom, she used to go there. Do you, like, they have that one food challenge. It's like, it's like the five-layer burger. Yeah. And, like, I've thought about taking it down, but I was like, I don't know. Because you got to eat everything <laughs> with it, or you got to pay, like, 30 bucks. I mean, if I had 30 bucks, just pay, like, like just yeah. for food, I'd yeah. be like... Cause like, oh, go ahead and bring it. Cause I think it's like five or six patties, but like the patties are like thick, oh, and like the burger geez. is pretty much like this high. I need that in my life. And like you gotta, <laughs> you gotta eat the side with it, and like what, what, what kind of sides? Like fries. Oh, uh, oh, but like that's fries, a lot of carbs. Onion rings, but like the, the the thing is getting through the burger. Yeah. Oh yeah. But, like, I've wanted to try it. I just don't know if I could. <laughs> Dude, the meat sweats on that might be like a little too much yeah. to handle. I really want to try this. Well, if you, but if you don't pass it, you gotta you gotta pay thirty bucks. But if you do win, it's free. Uh oh. So, free with a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, free heart attack with your free meal. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, is there anything else from Macho Burger you'd like to see come back? Because the, the food challenge is definitely one of the things I, I'm willing to do. Mm. Honestly, uh, well, hope it's been a minute, but like, were there like it just like regular vlogs? Uh, we did it. Every, uh, well, <laughs> I try to do a vlog every now and then, oh, so yeah. they ever know what was coming up. But like, I really, uh-huh. I wasn't really all, all like, great at vlogs. Oh, okay. But yeah, I'll try them out again. Oh uh, yeah, I bet that, like me personally, that's just like what I watch yeah. on YouTube. Oh, it's yeah. like a lot of vlogs, but uh, yeah, like food challenges, maybe like some uh. Oh, definitely more album uh, like reviews. Got yeah, to. Yeah. Music is live. Yeah, it's true. I can't go a full day without not listening to music. Like, Same. I have to listen to some to. type of music. Exactly. I've got to. Like my, my my music taste is very different. It goes from like 
Here we go. We got like gym class heroes to Eminem to like Weezer. Yes. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's all around like the rock rap world. Mm -hmm. And occasionally like, we'll throw with some John Mayer. <laughs> hey. Like I grew up on stuff of like uh between like ACDC, Metallica, yeah. Quiet Riot, uh, Bro. uh, you know, Def Leppard, Rat, you know, all the way through it up to like the underground rap I listen to now, yeah. everything in between, including, you know, like reggae and everything. Like I really got, I really got into Chance the Rapper and, uh, oh, okay. uh, what's his name? Charles Gambino. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, uh, ooh, hell of lyrics. Like, yeah. Lyrics I'm a lyric guy, so like, me too. I love yeah. lyrics. Me too. So yeah. like, if someone got good lyrics, I'm down for it. Yeah, oh yeah. But, cause like, cause uh, Dave Grohl, he was doing a video. He was, he was like, how to write a pop song. And one of the things he said, he was, he was, he was like, white people, they dance to the lyrics. <laughs> 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 and he's, he's not wrong. <laughs> true, true. But, uh, so like, and like sometimes on Snapchat, I'll just like quote different lyrics from songs I'm feeling that day. Same, same. Yeah. So like, I definitely do that a lot. Cause like, man, I love it. I love lyrics. Yeah, me too. I mean, I'm a sucker for beats too, especially same. piano. Like, you know, and, oh man. Oh, uh, but but um, when it comes to lyrics, it's like that to me. That's what makes it. So it's like, yeah, you know, makes a song. Cause without it, it'd just be music. Like to make a song, like there's gotta be lyrics. So. Yeah. Cause like I, I recently just did the album review for a Coldplay album, oh, okay. and like so their piano was really good. Oh, dude, yeah, I'm a sucker for piano. Same, that's, that's why I'm a huge fan of Fray. Cause like they always have piano, and I love hey. the Fray. The Fray and good uh, lyrics that kind of make you want to cry. Hell yeah, I'm down. <laughs> Cause that makes me want to be like in a happy, but like also like yeah. a crying mood. You know? Yeah, it's like. Look at something like, oh, what was that? Like, How to Save a Life? Or, oh, like, dude, yeah. Like, years ago, you know? Yeah. It's like, there's times I'll be, like, cruising to or something, you know? Yeah. But it's like, it's like, oh, my. There was, a, there was a friend of mine from high school. He always said, like, the perfect day to listen to the phrase when it rains. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll give it, yeah, I'll give it to him. Because, like, cause, like, this, this, cause, like, you still want to feel happy, but then, like, man, their music's like... Perfect. <laughs> it's perfect for a good old rainy day. <laughs> but man, I just love music. Uh, do you have any song covers that are that you think is better than the original? Oh man. Oh shit. Hmm. Better than than the original? Yeah. I'm usually the type of person to be like the like the original is like always the best. Yeah. But um mm. It's hard. I haven't even th probably listened to any covers in a while. Oh, no. See, they're Careless Whisper. Oh, The, yeah. the George Michaels cover. Yeah. I Dude. love both versions, though. I mean, me too, but, like, just, I guess, like, you know, the time, like, when we grew up. Yeah. See, they man. Yeah. I, like, I love I love the lyrics of the song, no matter who does it, but I just love the saxophone. The yeah. I love this. <laughs> But one of my favorite covers is like uh, when Metallica covered "Turn the Page." It was originally done by Bob Seger. Bob Seger, yeah, yeah. dude. Oh, and I used to sing that at work all the time. Same, dude. Oh, no, we're not at work. I used to just sing it on my way home. Places <laughs> like "Turn the Page." Yeah. But uh, and another good cover was uh, well, honestly, it was actually this one. This one actually is originally it is a better than the original. It was when Jimi Hendrix covered uh, "All Along the Watchtower" from Bob Dylan. Yeah. Like everyone knows Jimi Hendrix version, but they don't really re they don't really remember that Bob Dylan originally did. I think it. I've only heard once or twice, maybe like it was even like Bob Dylan even associated with the song. Yeah, like I heard Bob Dylan's version because Guitar Hero Five had that one on it. Oh, it did? Yeah. Oh, but I was a bigger fan of the Hendrix version. Oh, okay. But a Weezer just recently covered Africa. Dude, that's <laughs> that is blowing up right now. Yeah, dude, I love the cover. Like, it, it, it honestly yeah. kind of sounds like the original. Yeah, no, it did. actually, I was listening to it yesterday while uh, I was out swimming. Yeah, someone was playing it, and I was like, "Dude, look, man, they, like, they, they did a great job. They did really well. And I yeah. thought that was pretty cool. But like, one of the covers that like I like the original and the the cover is uh not only that one, but it's uh." Heard it through the grapevine, originally by Marvin Gaye, but yeah. uh, covered by C Creedence Clearwater Revival. Oh, CCR. Yeah, dude, yeah. I, I love some CCR. Oh, like, man. man. On a nice summer day, drinking a beer, listening to CCR, or some Skinner. Oh, man. Oh, like, dude. There's nothing better. <laughs> 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 there's nothing better than old 
Mm-hmm. Good old classical southern rock, you know. Oh, yeah. Got yeah to. I'm not a fan of country music, but I like southern rock. I kind of grew up on a little country, like, when I was yeah. growing up, but, uh... Now, it was maybe select couple, and that's just, like, if I'm drinking, like, you know, summertime, it's like, ah. yeah. Um, back in 2012, I went to go visit my sister mm-hmm. in Utah. I don't know when they're actually living there. Yeah. And, uh, we, we got to see Toby Keith for free. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the only country concert I've ever been to. Mm-hmm. It was actually really enjoyable. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, for real? Yeah. He was actually uh, really good live, and I wasn't expecting it. Oh. Because like, I wasn't, he was a really only country artist I liked, because he could make me laugh. Oh, dude, And yeah. kind of feel sad. <laughs> but, like, I don't know, man. <laughs> he was just really good live, and I was not expecting that. Damn. I don't think I've saw any, country, I barely even saw any live uh, performances, honestly. One of, one of the best concerts I've been to is definitely the Foo Fighters. Oh, dude. I drove all the way down to Columbia because it was cheaper to drive to Columbia, South Carolina than it was to go to Greensboro for the tickets. What? That's the crazy. ticket prices were way cheaper oh, for okay. Columbia. It was, like 60, it was like 67 bucks a piece for Columbia and it was like 90 some dollars a piece for oh, Greensboro. Yeah. So I was like, you know, I'll just drive the extra 30 minutes. Oh, okay. okay. It's only, it only an hour and a half to get to Greensboro, two hours to get to Columbia. I'll like, just drive the extra 30 oh, minutes. So yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> save 30 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, I mean, but that was definitely one of the best concerts I've been to. Uh-huh. It was like, it was just the, um, just like the crowd reaction, and they played for like three hours. They had one opener. The one opener played from like 7 to 7.30, and the foods came out about like 7.45, yeah. 8 o'clock, and they didn't stop till about 11. So, oh, <laughs> so they for like three hours straight, and it was oh just amazing. Oh my God. But whenever they played Best of You, I cried a little. Cause like you have like yeah. you have like ten thousand people in this packed arena, yeah. and everyone's screaming at the top of their lungs the lyrics of that song while they're yeah. playing. I was like, mm, yes, <laughs> Lincoln Park. I, I know a lot of people shit on Lincoln Park for always sounding the same, uh, yeah. and going pop. But like, they were one of those bands mm-hmm. that was better live than they were recorded. That's a lot, oh, wow. and that's mainly because Chester Bennington, his lot, his vocals. Oh my God, they were, they were a phenomenal live. Like he was so good live. I never got to experience it. Like I was about to go see him for the third time, and then he died, and I was like, damn. And I got the money back for the for the concert, mm-hmm. and then I got the tattoo for him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's why I have the Lincoln Park logo. But uh. It's actually really sad because they're like one of my favorite bands. Man. And I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of scared to go see Weezer for the third time. Oh, God. <laughs> like, like you're going to be like a 27 group? Like yeah, a yeah. 27? You yeah, know? like every time I go to a concert for the third time, the lead singer dies. I'm kind of I'm kind of scared. Like Rivers is like, don't die. Like, <laughs> like God, I, cause I'm, I'm about to buy the tickets. I'm like, Weezer, please, River, please don't. <laughs> please live. <laughs> <laughs> but... There's gym class here is coming to Charlotte in August. Oh. Yeah, it's like they're like the main opener, so they're gonna play like ten songs at most. Oh, but like it's like the main headliner is Three Eleven, and it's the Offspring, and then a hey. special guest gym class here. Uh-huh. Is. And I'm pretty much going for Offspring and gym class, but I'm cool with yeah. seeing Three Eleven. Yeah, yeah, Three Eleven's alright, you know. Yeah, and I, I'm Not hoping bad. the tickets are cheap because I, I just really want to see gym class, honestly. <laughs> But Tra- apparently, Trevi McCoy, he's been, you know, bet off on some stuff. Yeah. That's sad, but, uh, but apparently he's trying to, like, trying to turn it around, and, you know. Yeah. I guess it's showing, you know, tour yeah. and whatnot. I know his, uh, on their on their, their first major label album, uh, he had that song called Pillmatic, and it goes into his, oh. like, pill addictions. Oh, dang. Like, one of the lyrics is, like, if killing pain is the name of the game, then I'm your number one draft pick. I was like, damn. It was like, it was like damn. quickest, quickest dash to your medicine cabinet. I was like, wow. Fuck, yeah, he, he, some of, like they were definitely one of those underrated bands. Yeah, yeah but, for like, sure. His some of his lyrics are just like, wow. For real. He's like uh, one of one one of the songs from the first album was like uh, the song's called uh, "Petrified Life" and the and the twice toed. And the twice told jokes and parentheses like the decrepit bricks, yeah. but the chorus is like, at night I walk around with absolute, absolutely no purpose, feeling like I'm worthless. Despite, uh, on contrary of my last statement, I feel fine. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> Damn. 
You're like, like, like me. Yeah, like, I don't know, man. Like, some of his lyrics are just like, man, I feel that. Yeah, for sure, man. You're like... Can relate for sure. Yeah, he, his some of his lyrics are really, really good. And I think people just kind of skipped over them. Mm-hmm. And then they their last album was like the Paper Cut Chronicles 2. And whenever they started featuring like Adam Levine, that's when people started listening to him. <laughs> I'm just like, whenever, whenever they kind of go poppy, whenever they start listening to him. I was like, oh, huh? No, oh, was that Adam Levine? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no, no. I lo- no, I love this song, yeah. yeah like, oh, I, love, I love Stereo Arts, because Adam Levine. <laughs> oh, dude. I've got to piss so bad. <laughs> nah, so we'll, we'll just go ahead and wrap up, because we, 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 we fit our hour mark. Oh, man. All right. So, Josh, thanks for coming in. Yeah, man, no problem. I appreciate you. Check his music out. Uh, his YouTube channel is, is just called Twig, right? Yeah, just Twig. And I I actually have his YouTube channel, uh, his the the link for it in the description. Uh, thank you guys for coming back and watching again. Uh, this is the Macho Burger Podcast. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. And if there's anything you want us to, you'd like to see Macho Burger do, please leave that down in the comments. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. I'm Dylan Nell. Stay macho. bad idea. Uh. Stay.